In 2011, one trip to meet the disadvantaged children of Cambodia inspired Liz Volpe to dream. When we left Cambodia, it really had genuinely changed our lives. Go, 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 go! And from the day I got back to Australia, we decided to make it our mission to get back here and to hopefully have some type of impact with our experience on you and your life moving forward. Together with a team of global leaders, they travelled back to the doors of the disadvantaged to educate, <laughs> inspire and help the kids dare to dream. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, he's quick. <laughs> bon <prop. laughs> just being in their presence, just they're so happy all the time, they're so enthusiastic, um, not only just to see visitors, but just in general. It's quite amazing, you just know that it's going to make a difference. You know, this will be a day that will be remembered for these people every day for the rest of their lives. <laughs> I'm going to teach you a little bit about uh, self-confidence and also self-belief. I want you to take two minutes to write down five things that you respect more than anything. And I think it's such an amazing thing that um, you know, Liz has brought all of us here to actually be able to teach these kids these mindset, which to us, I guess, is quite normal. It's quite standard for us to believe that we can achieve anything. Being able to go back and say to people, wow, this stuff is real, like we can actually do this. Um, and if you really work hard on your English and you really work hard on what it is that you're interested in, then there are real opportunities in the world. The Apprentice Challenge for the Sunrise Village Orphanages is well and truly underway. But the great news is, is that now they're truly going full steam ahead and they're all selling their products. It's all very exciting. This is just the beginning. Children from disadvantaged countries all around the world will be given the chance to make their wildest dreams come true. I will find out a job that will lead to my civil engineering. I want to be a businesswoman. I want to be a nurse. My dream is travel to England and visit there. So we've just collected the letters from uh, all of the students and uh, they've written a letter that's going to be sent back to them in six months' time from Australia. And when they come and collect their letters, they're going to be able to see if the goal that they made and the steps that they said they were going to start to take, they actually did. I'm really excited. This is something that's going to change their life and it's going to be an amazing experience for them. Will we find the next world leader.